We go to great lengths to implement our program. You take dirty water that'll make you sick and then you make it safe in a matter of minutes. It's great to introduce that technology, but it's even better to come back and see the impact that we've made. And we do that through the monitoring and evaluating side of our program. It's the follow-up. I'm Jenica Dizon, Country Director of Waves for Water Philippines. The Philippines is an archipelago made of over 7,000 islands. So logistically, it's, it's very tough to get to places to transport things and to provide clean water access. The water could easily get contaminated and cause the spread of waterborne diseases. This monitoring and evaluation tool that we're using, we're able to really see how we can improve and also how the projects actually translate into actual impact in communities. There really is no shortcut to it. You literally have to go house to house to see where the filters are. Are they being used? Do they need to be reminded about how certain cleaning practices can be done to increase the flow rate? And then really just try to keep the filter to its you know, maximum life and capacity. In my opinion, you can't be somebody who's trying to implement something without holding yourself accountable. That's what your monitoring and evaluating program is. You can't just implement and call it a day. Really what keeps me motivated is seeing the impact of the work. So it's really trips like these that inspire us to continue what we do. Just to be able to help fellow Filipinos, I think that's what's so empowering about this, that it's Filipinos helping other Filipinos. We've been working in the Philippines for 10 years now and we've made a huge impact, but there's so much more work to be done and the Dockers partnership is gonna allow us to scale that effort.